Here's a behind the scenes look at how we went from UMapper created a map and brought it into the Geographic Bible. So starting in UMapper, you log in here and as soon as your login is successful, it'll take you to this page which lists your maps. We'll create a new map and give it a name. We also want to fill in the description. Double check Bing Maps is selected. Go to Template. We don't want the default. We want the corporate custom theme. Click Submit. As the map loads in, it shows a roads view. We want to change that to aerial and go to data import. This gives us the option of uploading a KML that we previously created. I have it stored on my hard drive. We'll upload that. The import sometimes takes a little time depending how many places you have on your map. And it loads in as a tally. You see we have several places here. And when the map's complete, users can hover over that and it will uh, link to the name of the place. So here's our map. Looks pretty good. We'll click Save. This saves a KML to the UMapper servers. And when it's finished saving, we'll view it. Now UMapper is really handy because it gives us the source code that we need to embed the flash map right into our site. So as soon as we click uh, View Map, we get to see the map inside the template that we chose. And here it tells us um, what we need to embed the object. So I'm just going to right click, copy that, and go over to the Geographic Bible. Under Places of the Bible, the menu here, we have a list of pages. This one's already complete. And this is the one we're working on now. So I'll load that. You can see it's empty. We choose Edit. And this is a simple page. In the body, all we want to do is paste the information that we pulled from the other. Here the width is set to 500 and the height to 300. We'll choose 600 and 400 instead. Scroll down your page. At input format, make sure the input format is one that will read flash. Here we'll choose PHP code. Scroll down and save. And that should do it. There it is. Ta-da! Have fun!